Think of the Cayman Islands and you probably think of beautiful beaches and you'd be right. You maybe think of iguanas and you'd be right. You probably don't think much about Gaelic football, but there you'd be very, very wrong. That's because the 2014 finals day saw four men's football teams and four ladies football teams. 13 aside, so well over 100 players and more there to watch a superb day of competition in 30 degree heat. So ice and cool boxes were a plenty on the sideline. The action at times was fast and skillful with plenty of commitment and the games all played in the right spirit. In the end, the men's winners had a hero in a dub who kicked a golden point despite never having a club back in Ireland. And the ladies' winners were the green team who celebrated the Cayman Way on the beach. Would you say that the GAA is stronger in the Cayman Islands today than it has ever been? Oh, I would say so, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, on numbers alone, um, between sponsorship deals and exposure we've got through the Dublin team visiting and things like that, um, the fact that we've gone to North America, the fact that we're going up to Boston this year with the men and women's team, it's, it's definitely 100%, yeah. And why is it all sort of going so well? Why is everything booming? I'm not sure. I think it's just the interest, like the local company like Lime, they're taking an interest. They kind of builds up a bit of interest around on the radio, on Twitter, everything like that. You know, Lime have been absolutely brilliant this year. I think it's just stuff like that. People start hearing about it, word of mouth spreads. Like the more people come down, everyone seems to enjoy the day. Like today, how many people are down there, you know, families, friends, everyone having a good day. So I think stuff like that, you know, hopefully it'll grow, go from strength to strength. We're all benefiting. It's a fantastic relationship. We, did, we just entered it six months ago. Um, you know, the GAA came to us and came in and they asked us, Lime, we're the number one telecommunications provider in Cayman Islands, but also in the Caribbean. Uh, and they weren't happy. And they said to us, you know, what can you do for us? And so we sat down and had a good chat with them. And, uh, you know, we were absolutely delighted to sponsor them. It's absolutely fantastic. And, you know, it's a wonderful sport. Lovely to see it taken overseas. Um, so we jumped at the opportunity. I'm Jane Smith. I'm from Australia. And I'm a lawyer in the Cayman Islands. I've been here for six months. And you've just won player of the match at a Gaelic football tournament. Explain <laughs> how that came about. Uh, well, I played Australian football, which is very similar, but not a round ball. It, come on, it's, it's a little bit similar. Uh, for about 14 years with the boys as a girl. And so it was easy to adapt to Gaelic football. We just had a round ball. Lots of fun. The girls are amazing. It was a good day. Tell me your name again and explain your background. It sort of sounds Irish a bit. <laughs> um, actually, it's Bobeth. Ogaro and Ogaro is my maiden name. My uh, actual 
I mean, it's my married name, but my actual maiden name is Daly, and that's um, Scottish or Irish, one of the two. So I probably do have some Scottish or Irish along the way. It doesn't matter where you're from, whether you're Irish, you're Caymanian, Scottish, British, um, from Australia. We have all different types of nationalities playing the sport here. They're very inviting, very welcoming, and it's, it's just an awesome game. It's nice um, to kind of remind you at home. I was saying to some of the girls before around St. Patrick's Day and we had a sort of fun game and things like that. And it, was, it was nice. To, it's like a bit of home away from home and it does make a difference, I think. Been away nine, nine, ten months now and I think it helped in the last six. How would you look back on your time involved with the GEA and the Cayman Islands and what has it meant to you as an Irish fellow here? It's, it's a brilliant thing to do. It's, it's, as an Irish person over here, you know, we came to the island uh, without knowing anybody. We came down to the club, introduced to people straight away, fit in. It's a great family atmosphere. So as an Irish person living away, it's very special, you know. You get to get in touch with, with um, you know, the traditions of home without actually being at home. So it's, it's very special. You can't beat the GA abroad. You sure can't. <laughs> yeah, it's been brilliant. It's the best thing that we've ever done, I think. Yeah. You're only here six months. Do you ever pinch yourself and go, I'm on the Cayman Islands playing Gaelic? Absolutely. I'm um, could be at home now uh, in the rain and I'm um, here kind of four or six months and it looks like we're going to get a chance of winning two cups, which is a great feeling. You know?